Hi, I'm Ann Hanks with Keller Williams Realty, Boston Northwest and Concord. And we are continuing our Helping Small Business Help You series. And we are so lucky today to have Betsy Cohen from Cohen Design with us to talk about house trends and uh, how she got into the business. So Betsy, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us today. Oh my gosh, thank you for having me. So it's, it's a pleasure. Well, it's our pleasure too. So I am curious, I know you've been in interior design for a long time. How did you even get started? I have to blame my parents <laughs> because they had a great interest in interior decorating. They would go to galleries and go antiquing almost every weekend. And when they weren't going gallery or antiquing, then we were going to open houses. And I would join them in all of these excursions. So I started really learning an appreciation for decorating and also educating my eye from a very early age. And then when I went to college, I was the girl who people would come to in order to help them decorate their dorm rooms. From that, that led to me becoming an interior decorator. Now I get the pleasure of helping my clients create spaces for themselves that are warm and welcoming and are a representation of who they are as people. It's a, it's a pleasure. I really like it a lot. Well, that's quite a journey you have going there. So I am curious. I'm sure things have changed from when you were decorating in college and lucky friends that you had in college um, to now in 2021. What are you seeing as trends in, the, in this year? The biggest trend that I'm seeing is that our spaces are much more casual than they used to be. So I think that what we are doing now is what I will call casual elegance. We wanna have spaces that are beautiful, but at the same time, we want them to be welcoming and, uh, and a space that we feel comfortable being in. So the question is, is how do you create that? And, that, and the way in which we are creating that is also a, are some of the trends that we've been seeing for at least 10 years now. And a lot of that is uh, what I will call also embracing opposites. So we'll have spaces now that will have old and new, hard and soft, and high end and low end. And by having that mixture and not having everything be the same, I think it creates a space that can be casual and, um, and also elegant at the same time. Great, so I'm noticing right in back of you, you have a contemporary painting and it looks like an older sculpture. Is that what you're talking about? I am. So, and it's, this actually create, is an example of a lot of different things. This painting I found on the streets of New York. Wow. And I put a, what I think is a lovely frame on it in order to make it look really far more expensive than what it was. And the, the sculpture is a piece that I inherited from my parents. So it's a mixture of high end and low end, old and new. And also the frame is very crisp and white. And this uh, sculpture here is wood and it has a patina to it. So it, this actually embraces everything that I've just been talking about. Oh, that's great. That's great. And are there any other trends that we're, you're seeing now? Well, I think the one thing that surprises people, and that's what exactly what we want to do, is having an element in a room that is that is an element of surprise. Okay. That nothing, that pieces, not, not everything is perfect anymore. Our lives aren't perfect. We aren't perfect. And you know what? Our spaces don't have to be perfect either. So you might find a lamp that is placed in a house and you might think, my goodness, that's really large for the space, but it really works. It's larger than what you would have thought of. It's not perfect, but it really works. Or you might find a neutral space and then there'll be one chair and it has um, a very graphic uh, fabric on the chair. It's a surprise and it makes your eye go to it. And then that will help you to carry your eye throughout the room and notice everything else. Great. I love that things don't have to be perfect because that is definitely my house. So that's great. You know, yeah. Betsy, I love these tips that you've given us and in, in talking about the trends. And we know that there will be people out there who will want to get in touch with you and see your beautiful work. We'll be putting that at the end of this video. And, um, and again, there will be an offer if people mention my name and they choose to work with you. Great. Thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you again. Thank you.